While the situation in Europe continues to get worse, China said there were only eight new cases of COVID-19 there in the past day. But as quarantine measures come to an end in China, some unexpected consequences of the outbreak have emerged, as we heard from Kerry Allen. Well, in one Chinese city in the southwest, a place called Dazhou in Sichuan province, it's now become a trend that with people getting back to work, people being able to leave their apartments and their houses, a number of couples are rushing to get divorced. They've been in self-quarantine for a long period of time, only really going out to buy essentials. And there's been a notable spike in divorce rates in this city, largely local media say because people have been spending more time with each other, which means they've many more arguments. This nation has brought China together. It's been everybody united in fighting this fight they've seen being in self-quarantine. So there has been a lot of positivity in the media and, uh, and everybody feeling that helping the government in order to fight the virus, but at the same time at a very level, obviously there have been fights between people who share a house. The government isn't happy when people get divorced, is it? It's not, no. And actually, before this whole coronavirus started, there was a major push in China for increased marriage rates, increased uh, birth rates as well. So, so couples were really being encouraged to have more children. There has been a problem in China with uh, a result of the one-child policy that there are fewer children now who are able to find partners and uh, the labour market is shrinking because um, a lot of elderly people are retiring. So the government wants, it doesn't want a situation where the population falls off a cliff. Talk about the difficulties of being stung together. Are the authorities going to lift quarantine restrictions as a result of the decline in cases? No, they're still being very cautious about this. I mean, they're conscious that different governments around the world are tackling this in different ways and they're looking at ways that they can make sure that China doesn't see huge spikes again. But at the same time, there are some areas of China now where children are going back to school for the first time and uh, a number of businesses are starting to resume operations as well. So it is, it, it does feel for some people that there is a sense of normality coming back into place. Carry